Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? Beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. Estonia. It is their Imperial O X O, which is their extra old. Um, it's their Imperial Baltic Porter. It's 11.5% ABV with 60 IBUs. It's uh, served in their well, it's not served. It's it's bottled in their 11.2 fluid ounce bottle. It's using Magnum and uh, Northern Brewer hops, so you're going to get a nice spicy, grassy, herbal, uh, slight citrus. Uh, going on here, probably a good bittering in the back there, but uh, you know, I imagine the sweetness of this beer is probably going to really take over. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, it's said to be a really good one. They've got a quite a quite a lineup of these beers, so, and this is just one of them. But I'm really looking forward to this. Let's open this up. I tried to age this for a while, but I, I could only get to two weeks. <laughs> it's got this, um, you know what, let's see if I can open it with this. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to dig into it. Ooh, I can smell that. Jala, do it. Oh, well, wow, it's really sizzling in there. I warmed this up by the fireplace to kind of get it down to a, a lower, you know, a hotter temperature. I wanted to get the flavors out of it, the aromas. Um, heads pretty good. It looks like. It's at, right now it's at about a finger, but let's go ahead and smell. Oh. Oh man, I just I get like a real hardcore, like a chocolate roasty, like fruity combination of stuff going on. It kind of tastes like uh, it smells like a, cor a cherry cordial, a dark with dark chocolate or something. Hmm. The alcohol, the heat, it rises up through your nose. Very boozy, <laughs> indeed. Oh, yeah, cherry, well, those little cherry cordials with the cherries inside and the syrup, cherry syrup, and then the dark chocolate. Um, oh, my. Dark fruits for sure. <sighs> yeah, you get some chocolate. It's that, just that roasted... There's a roasted, uh, uh, like a roasty, a roasted malt-like smell coming out of this. With your dark chocolates and then a little cherry is in there. A slight raisin. Some spices going on. You can kind of get like a hot spice going on. Mmm. God, this smells really delicious. Very big dessert wine here. Wow, or dessert beer here. Excuse me, <laughs> dessert wine. So let's look at it. it the retention yeah, it went down. It's not very fast. It's a big, it's a big boozy beer, so you know the head's not going to stay too much. Uh, lacing on the glass is sticking. It does look sticky on the edges. It's got a silky. Oh, it's really sticking. It's got a real silky, smooth-looking head, kind of oily looking. 
oil canny for sure in the, in the actual look of the beer as well. It's got a mocha head, like a real thick mocha-like head, real brown, and it's opaque. You can't see through this. Super dark. You are not seeing through this at all. It just looks, it looks oily. It looks thick. Wow, I'd like to put some of this in some like vanilla ice cream or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and smell how it tastes this. Mm. Oh man. There's a crazy explosion of flavors going on here. You do get the boozy of that goes back. Woo! Strong. Zipper. Very smooth. Smooth, creamy mouthfeel. Very robust. Very robust and thick. Very hearty, very boom. This is doing it. Sweet. Right away, you're getting molasses, you're getting cherry, raisins, dark chocolate, roasted barleys. The heat rises through your nose and kind of burns it a bit. It's very strong. Bitter on the edges in the back. Dry finish, about 75 down, 75% of the way down. A little longer finish, let you let you really taste this. Does taste better warmer? I do like that. Yeah, I get I get cherries, raisins, um, other dark fruits. I get I get. Uh, that's the most dominant ones that I taste though. The palate takes the heat, goes, takes that heat from the uh, booziness, puts it up the nose, but it also has this uh, dry, fruity kind of flavor on the palate, up in the, up in the, up there, and a kind of a dryness. But on the tongue, you're getting, you even get, I do get a little tobacco. Yeah, like, um, like, as, like, like kind of the spicy herbaceous tobacco um, maybe some leather even thrown in there I'm just saying like there, there's some crazy I know it sounds odd but these are the things that you get it's just amazing and a lot of that's from the barrel aging I, I do I, I imagine and, and also the things they're using uh, within it um, fruits and other things that they throw in um, as well as the hops the, the malts and everything that they're using but this really does, I mean, you're aging this so long in those brandy or cognac barrels, and it's pulling out a lot of really interesting flavors. Yeah. In the back, you get kind of a dry, almost uh, that bitter chocolatey dryness that you get when you, if, like, bake, baking chocolate. But sweet all through the mouthfeel, sweet, sweet up in the palate, up on the tongue, sweet, sweet, sweet. But also all these other little things thrown into that sweetness. Very amazing beer for what it is. It is a great dessert beer. I was actually very, I'm very impressed with this, actually. I'm giving it two thumbs up. This is a five. This is five out of five hops. I'm giving this five hops. This is a, this is an amazing beer. This is an amazing beer. It's got, I mean, it's not something you want to like down, but when it comes to like, this, what it is, what they made it, you know, how they made it, five hops, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys have a good night. Um, please comment. Day, wherever you're from, actually, please comment. And let me know if you've had this before. Let's talk about it. Um, very complex beer. But uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that red button gray and hit that bell. You'll be informed when you have when I have new shows up. And um, please hit the like button. That would be very wonderful. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys have a nice evening. Cheers.